It's what to do with an estimated $4.4 billion budget surplus. Republicans say they want to give it back to you through tax cuts, but Democrats say some of that money should go back to schools. Jason Calvi explains the estimated money comes from stronger than expected tax collections and vastly improved economic forecasts. Tax collection increases in 2021 are unprecedented. So says the nonpartisan Legislative Fiscal Bureau. The forecaster estimates through 2023 a $4.4 billion budget surplus. There are going to be two choices, uh, either spend the money and increase in the size of government or give it back to the families who paid it. And my goal would be to figure out the largest possible uh, tax cut that we could. But Democrats say more money should go to schools. We're underfunding our schools and education is extremely important, especially coming off of a pandemic. We know that there is a lot of ground that we need to cover in terms of catching up in terms of educating our children. Right now, the still being hashed out Wisconsin budget doesn't pump enough money into schools to qualify for some federal coronavirus aid. So saying that we're going to give taxpayers a huge, you know, uh, property tax rebate when we're underfunding their schools serves no purpose. The requirements are not the amount that you appropriate on day one. It's the amount that you spend over the two year budget. So just because it's not in the budget doesn't mean that we will not come back if schools can say, yes, we need money. The legislature and the governor sparred on what to do with the budget surplus last year before the pandemic. The Republicans sent the governor a bill to cut income taxes. Governor Evers said he wanted to see some of that money last year go to school, so he vetoed that Republican proposal, and it's possible we could see another Evers veto this time around. Reporting at the Capitol, Jason Calvi, Fox 6 News. Now, both Republicans and Democrats are taking credit for the surplus. The Fiscal Bureau points to the American Rescue Act, including stimulus checks and money coming to states. It gives other reasons for the surplus, including easing COVID restrictions, increasing vaccinations, and improving consumer attitudes towards resuming social activities.